Hi guys, in today's video I thought we'd have a go at doing something for Easter. So we're going to make a cake that's an Easter chick popping out of an eggshell. Now I'm starting with a 6 inch cake card. Now I've got two because food's going to come into contact with the top and bottom. So I've just stuck these together. And I'm going to put the whole thing on a larger cake board. I think my cake board's probably about 12 inches. Just as long as it's bigger than this 6 inch one then that's fine. So I'm going to put a layer of chocolate ganache on there and I've got a domed chocolate cake that I've made ready. I've just cut the dome into three pieces and I'm just going to put the ganache between each layer. Now usually I would use buttercream but today I fancied ganache in between the layers as well. I'm going to cover the whole thing in chocolate ganache. Now because this is going to be turned upside down if I put buttercream on the edge it might not be strong enough so I am going to use ganache so it sits nice and firm. Get it as smooth as you can and the card is actually going to be on the top of our cake but we'll just turn this back around for now. So the bottom is going to be the rounded bit so I'm just going to take just a very small slice off so that I've got a flat bit so it sits better when I put it upright. So just check the little card will fit on there. Now the cake's going to need a little bit of support so I'm just using these straws. So I'm going to push them all the way down until it reaches the bottom and cut them where it meets the top of the cake or level with the surface of the cake. And I've just put three in, that should be plenty. It's not a heavy cake, but I don't want it to sink. So plenty of ganache on there. We'll stick it on and then we're going to leave that to set. And we're going to work on a little cake for our chick. This time I went with a bright pink Victoria sponge. Now I cooked just a small cake, so this one's just four inches and it kind of domed on the top anyway. Normally I'd cut that off and level it, but for this it works well that it's domed on the top. And we're going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. I'll just give it one layer, I'll stick it in the fridge and while I'm doing some more work on the cake that can be chilling. While that's in the fridge we'll go back to our other one and we're going to stick it to our cake board. So remember the small card is the bottom, I'm going to put some ganache on my cake drum and let's stick this on in the middle. It just needs a few minutes to set. So I've got some white fondant and we're just going to roll it out big enough that it covers the top, so like my cake board on here. I'll put links in the description box below to everything that I have used in this video. Just trim all the way around the edge so it meets with the edge of that cake card. And just be careful about your ganache going everywhere. You can see I've just caught bits of ganache on mine. Then we're going to need some more white fondant. And we're going to cover around the edge. Now I've got just over a kilogram and that's probably more than I need. So we're going to roll it into kind of a sausage shape and then we're going to roll it out to make sure that the width is at least the height of our cake, even a little bit taller. And then we're just going to roll it out, make sure it's long enough that it will wrap all the way around our cake. Again, this is probably a bit bigger than I actually need. Now I haven't rolled it really thin because the top part of my eggshell is going to come above the cake and if I do it too thin it's going to flop over. So we're going to stick it with some piping gel. So just a thin layer of that on our chocolate ganache and then let's wrap our fondant around there. So I'll try and get it as level as I can at the bottom and there's quite a lot here to work with so it's moving around quite a bit so let's cut some off at the back. Let's tuck it underneath there. I will tidy up the bottom when we ice the board as well. Let's pull it round the side and let's trim it off where it meets the other piece at the back. Cutting a little bit more off just down there. And I'm going to cut a lot of the extra off the top but still leaving a good sort of couple of inches above the surface of my cake. Just try and rub that seam together a little bit more. You, we're not going to notice the seam too much when we splatter our food colouring on our eggshell. Then we're going to cut out some little triangles so that the egg looks like it is actually broken. Just make sure you are using a nice sharp knife here. And you can see that the fondant is quite thick. If I'd rolled it really thin, it would be flopping over a little bit more at this point. So if there's a bit much fondant on the cake, you might have to pull some off when you cut it into pieces ready for eating. I'm just going to do this all the way around and just give it a once over smoothing it with my hands. So let's take some off cuts of our fondant and let's cut them so they're kind of zigzagged on the edges and I've got these little foam domes that I'm just going to put them over just so it looks like we've got some broken off pieces of eggshell and I don't want them flat so the dome's just going to curve them a little bit for us. Then let's colour our eggshell so I wasn't sure the best way to do this, so I tried a toothbrush with a bit of food colour. 
just trying to flick it on. Now it is a new toothbrush, it isn't one that I've used. It was a little bit small, the drip, so let's try with a paintbrush. Let's try some food colour this time mixed with some dipping solution. Uh, dipping solution is just like alcohol, clear alcohol. Um, it does evaporate so the cake won't taste of alcohol. Let's flick this on. And don't forget your little eggshell pieces as well. And you can put as many colours on as you want. Let's use some pale green fondant now to cover our board. Now if you want you can go a bit brighter. I thought it would be quite nice to keep it all pastel colours. But I think I should have just gone a tiny bit brighter. I've rolled it out big enough that I know it's at least the size of that cake board. Or the cake drum that's under my cake. We've put a hole in the middle with a little slit coming out from the side of it. And let's see if we can slip this around our cake. So just be careful, we don't want to tear our fondant. Just taking it around gently and pushing it underneath the egg as much as you can. Now we've got extra at the back, so I'm just going to cut through these layers. Get that extra bit off from the top and the bottom and just give it a little rub with our fingers. Take off all the extra from around the edge of the board. Just make sure your knife is nice and sharp for this. Okay, so you just see it tucked underneath there. Using my leftover green, we're going to make some little leaves for decoration. So we'll start with a teardrop, squash it down. I'm going to rub my finger in the middle for a dip. And I think we'll make three of these. And then we can just stick them onto our cake board. You might find the fondant's quite tacky. It might stick on its own. If not, just put a little bit of water under each of those leaves just to hold it in place. I think mine feels like it is going to hold up on its own. Make some little swirly bits. We'll just roll a sausage shape, curl around the end, and we'll just stick that just comes out from behind our leaves. We'll put a couple more of these on. Let's go with some pink fondant now. Just going to use a little flower cutter. So again I'll put links in the description box below the video to everything that we've used. Now I've left it quite thick because it's not a realistic flower this one but you can roll thinner if you want. Because it's in fondant if I do it too thin it's going to flop. Uh, let's just push that against our leaves. And I'm thinking a pale yellow for the middle. Let's roll again a little snake shape and we'll just curl that up into a coil and we're going to push that into the middle of our flower. So my other cake has been chilling in the fridge. So my first layer of buttercream's firmed up a bit so I can now add a second layer. If you prefer you could just use ganache on this one like we did on the first. But that'd be nice to have the two a little bit different. Now I haven't got a very smooth finish on it so I'm just going to use the cake cloth. Again I'll put links in the description box below. And this will just kind of smooth it off for me without the buttercream sticking to the cake cloth. And we're going to cover it in a pale yellow fondant. Just make sure you've rolled it big enough that it will just cover the cake. Sometimes if it's a little bit short it will stretch to the bottom of my cake. And let's give that a gentle rub down with my hands. So you can see I'm just pulling out the folds as I go around and pushing down gently with my hand. So we go all the way to the bottom. Then I can cut off all the extra from around the bottom edge. Then we're going to place it on top of our egg. And if you want, you can use a little bit of buttercream or chocolate ganache to stick it in place. And let's put two little teardrops of our leftover yellow fondant on the top. And a little oval of like a peachy colour. Again, it's just fondant I'm using for my beak. And I've got a little bit of black fondant. We've just rolled it again into a bit of a snake shape. Make sure there's a point on either end. And we're going to stick this on as the eye. So just give it kind of a upwards arch there and flick it out at the outside edge. And we're just using a bit of edible food dust. So it is just food colour this. Just with a dry brush, I'm just popping that on the cheek area. Might even just add a little bit to the edge of my eggshell. Just catching the very edge. And maybe even a little bit just inside around the chick. For the wings I'm just going to have a big oval of my yellow fondant. I'm going to cut it in half and we're just going to stick these onto the sides. Now just careful with your pink dust because I got it on my fingers and then I got it on the little wings so be careful when you're making yours. And you might just want a little bit of water on them to hold them in place. And then let's add a bit more pink to the edge of our shell pieces. Now they've only been there a couple of hours and they've already started to firm up but you can leave them longer if you need to if you feel like they're still soft. And we're just going to place these on the board. 
So play around with where you like the look of them. Let's finish her off with a little bow. So I'm just going to use some pink fondant. We're going to roll two balls the same size. And then we're going to try and make them into triangle-ish shapes. So they're quite rounded triangles, still quite fat. And then we just want a small tic-tac kind of shape for in the middle. Although they're a little bit bigger than a tic-tac. These are just going to push on the top of the head up here. And we'll add the little ball in the middle. So that's our little Easter chick video. Now, if you're making one, you can make yours in whichever colours you fancy. And I'm thinking I should have maybe made my little Easter chick a little bit shorter. It's quite tall. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my other Easter videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.